वेलकम बैक एवरी वन हाउ आर यू नाउ वी आर गोयिंग टू सल्व कोडिलिटी फर प्रोग्रामर लेसन नम्बर नाइन द चैप्टर नेम इज मैक्सिमम स्लाइस प्रब्लेम इन दिस चैप्टर वी उल सल्व थ्री प्रब्लेम्स वन इज मैक्सिमम डबल स्लाइस साम नेक्स्ट वन इज मैक्सिमम profit and third one is maximum slice sum this is the documentation about this topic when you will read this documentation you will understand actually how it's working and as always uh, the code is give you some example of how you can write the code and how you can implement it and it's based on python this documentation but we will solve our problem using java programming language and this is the time complexity we go in a square if you will follow this method then it will take like this time and first one is we go and cube and to the power 3 and last one is big o n time complexity so it's better than previous two so let's start to solve the problem at first you will solve maximum double slice sum maximum double slice sum and for your understanding i should change the brightness i think now it's more visible this is the problem statement find the maximum sum this is the overall information what we have to do in this problem find the maximum sum of any double slice and this is problem statement a non-empty array a consists of n integers is given a default x y z and such that 0 is smaller than or equal to x x is smaller than y y is smaller than z z is smaller than n is called a double slice i think you don't understand anything but don't worry i will explain step by step everything and you will understand what is double slice the sum of double slice x y z is the total of how it will count it or added elements and try to find out the maximum sum for example array such that this is one array with eight elements as you know in array always start to count from index number zero and until index number seven total eight elements and how it's work now let's try to understand about this example description contains the following example double slice double slice zero three six sum is two plus six plus four plus five two six four five so index number three zero and six this index number we are not counting and second one index number zero three seven when we will omit those index number and those index number rest of index we are taking and double slice three four five three four five if we will omit this then sum is zero because there is minus one minus one index number three four five three four five so if you will omit it then it's not a highest 
maximum. The goal is to the find out maximum sum of any double slice. Given a non-empty array consists of we already returned the maximum sum. So our target is to find out the maximum sum from the given array. And as we already saw, the function should return 17 because 17 is the highest maximum sum then others combination and we should follow this information then we will fulfill all the requirements write an efficient algorithm for the following assumption n is an integer within the range c2 until 100,000 each element of array a is an integer with the range minus 10,000 to plus 10,000 so it can also take minus figure so let's start to solve this problem I should change the brightness and I want to make it more bigger then you can understand I already solved this problem and the code is little bit bigger the main thing is understanding the concept so I took my code and paste here and I will explain step by step then you will understand this is our code to solve this problem this is the given array so as you can see this is the class and this is the method like a function you can say method inside this method we are defining to local variable those are array and data type is int first one is max maximum starting array and it's taking array length next one also it's taking array length after that we took another two lo local variable one is int maximum sum because this is our main target to find out and Len means length of array. Why we are defining length? Then it will count all the elements. If we will not use length, then uh, it will show error. After that, we used one for loop, and it will count from the inside minus two because why we are counting minus 2 as you can see we define lay a dot length not minus 1 if we define minus 1 here then we can write here also minus 1 because as I already mentioned array always count start to count index number 0 that's why we have to do it then we will get exact element which is inside the array so after that we are try to find we are trying to find out maximum sum and math maximum it's a built-in function and at first we are checking we are taking this value initially it's zero after that we are checking a array inside that means we are checking array length you see a and we are going to check and try to count and plus max sum max sum zero at first we are defining initially zero later maximum sum and after that we are defining these maximum sum inside the maximum is starting array and array value this is our first loop it will check and it will count the elements and try to find out maximum sum because as it's already mentioned there are three dimension x y z and it will check this way 
then we can get actual answer properly maximum sum equal to 0 we already define it and for int now we will check from the beginning until end you see now length minus 1 we are going to check this way less like a sum it will decrement first below and after that count here it will increment first below after that count that's how we are using plus at the beginning i and minus at the beginning i so same formula we used and same thing here is a maximum starting error and here is maximum ending array only this difference and difference inside the loop i hope it's easy to understand later now we are going to main point int maximum double slice initially we define zero and after that we are using for loop and it's counting from index number 0 until the last element so maximum double slice equal to math.max because it will help to get the actual result and first time this is the formula to find out the maximum sum so what we did maximum double slice we are defining this and after that maximum int area then i this index that means it will count it will increase one by one and plus maximum starting here i plus two then it will start to count index number plus two that means int from index number three from index number two not three if the uh, from index number three if you will count from one but if you will start to count from index number 0 then it will start from 2 but position 3 finally it's return maximum double slice i hope you understand all the point how this algorithm will working if you have any confusion please write me in comment then i can explain you then you will understand if you have any confusion just write comment below this video and uh, now we start to run for testing mm -hmm. i think it's fulfill all the requirements that's why our example test is working properly now submit task let's see if we will fulfill all the steps then we will receive 100 percent score it's evaluating our submission I am mentioning again if you have any confusion or you don't understand some logic you can anytime you can write comment under this video and I will explain you again how actually it works we already fulfill all the requirements that's why we received 100% score from all the consequences correctness about performance also and time complexity also meet requirements that's why we received it and from all this test we pass properly so that's it for today see you next video take care bye bye